the main cause of death in the United States and industrialized worlds heart disease. And from heart disease, there are many types of uh, uh, arrhythmias that can happen. Uh, we're in interested in cardiac arrhythmias that are derived by um, electrical signals. So in order to understand these dynamics, we do the simulations. We try to uh, solve the differential equations that describe the dynamics of the electrical wave in the heart. One of the main challenges is, is these this, uh, simulations, they take so, so much time that require to be done in supercomputers. Some of these uh, technologies that uh, have been developed over the last few years uh, allows to, to do smaller computers with graphic cards to run these big simulations, and now they can be done actually even in a cell phone. So even the average smartphones that are coming out, they are coming with uh, GPUs installed. Each one is carrying technically a supercomputer in their pockets. You just have to harness that power. WebGL, um, the language that we are using, has been out there for several years. But the problem was that th this is developed to just show graphics on the, on the web page. So what we have done is to develop a library that actually changes this behavior. Uh, tricks the graphic card by thinking that it's just manipulating images, whereas it's actually solving a uh, mathematical problem. We are assigning physical values to the colors of each pixel of an image and then manipulating this image in the GPU. Being able to actually do these simulations in three dimensions opens the door really for uh, clinical applications where we can actually obtain patient's geometry and solve these equations in cells that then are sort of packed inside that individualized geometry. So we could foresee that there could be applications in the clinic that could uh, individualize treatments. This is actually uh, not only to study, but also you can visualize these waves and, and, and understand better what's happening inside the heart when, when an arrhythmia like this happens in the ventricle or in the atria. So now a doctor can actually just show up the browser, uh, show a heart, this is the structure, this is the activation that happened, and when an arrhythmia like yours happened, this is what is actually occurring, and understand how these arrhythmias are developing. Mm -hmm.